Robbo, I tried to credit you with two goals on Tuesday night on the Twitter, but I think it only went down as a one after seeing it from another angle. You must have been buzzing with the team's performance as well as your own, though. Yeah, I think it was a great performance. Obviously, after the disappointment of Saturday against York, we knew we needed to bounce back and continue our form in the league. Um, and I think that's three, three nils on Tuesday nights um, in a row, which is great for us. Obviously, with the running that we've got, we need to, we need to take as many points as possible to try and get to our achievement. Um, which is making the playoffs now. And uh, as for the goals, I mean, it's nice of you to try and credit them to me. But I was undecided. So I yeah, tried, yeah. Tried to get I mean, to I can see why I was closest to the guy. Uh, made him make the mistake, I guess. Um, and me and Mac have made it known to him that he'd made the mistake after, which kind of uh, ruled me out from the referee's point of view that it was me. But then obviously the second one, um, which was mine, obviously. Uh, it was a very nice goal, very good feeling, so yeah, it was great. Talk us through that, obviously, nice interplay between you and Junior Marias. Just talk us through um, your POV. So, against York, Junior went mad at me because I nicked the ball off someone, someone lost it in midfield, and I could, I should have played him in, and I tried to go and shoot, I think, and I lost it. And he said, bro, I was on. He said, watch it back in the clips. So he watched it back in the clips. I should have passed it. So I passed it to him, um, and I thought he was going to go straight ahead um, and, and go for the shot and obviously load everyone went to him and I carried on running and then when he played it back across I knew I had to leave just put it in the goal. Yeah, great so, finish as well. Yeah. The supporters were of course in good voice all night, you must have enjoyed celebrating your goal and the result at the end with them. Yeah, I think the fans were great. I think um, There's some great photos of it isn't it? Yeah, yeah, some very nice photos and, and, and considering uh, the percentage of our fans who were there compared to theirs, we definitely heard ours all night which was, which was lovely. Um, and I said to Michael before the game, I said, if I score, I'm going to jump in that end. And he said, don't, because you'll get fined. And I said, okay. And then at the start of the second half, I saw that chair. And I said, that's my chair if I score. Um, and that's the closest I could get to them without, without receiving a booking. And yeah, it was just a little improvised moment. Yeah, good stuff. I know you've been playing with a bit of an illness recently. How are you feeling now ahead of Saturday's game? Um, I'm feeling better. Um, I was pretty bad um, on Tuesday. And a couple of the lads have had a similar thing. Um, nothing, nothing really major. Just, just stomach, stomach issues. Um, and after, after the goal, I, I felt it a lot. And I, I said, "This is a, as good a time as any to come off before I can get Gary Lineker, Gary Lineker myself." Um, and yeah, when I went off, yeah, I need to say the rest. Fair enough. Yeah. Not to County that we're welcoming to Victoria Road this Saturday. How tough a test do you see that being? I think it'll be a tough test. I think. Um, they're another team like us who are who are pushing for the playoffs. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if they're in it right now, but they're obviously people who are competing for it. They've got a good squad. I think they'll um, offer a different um, approach than some of the games we've had recently, which have been battles. I think they're a bit more of a, of a footballing team. Um, and like I said, every game now for us is is winnable, but also is a must win. So. We need to take that attitude and, and just go and do our thing on the field. Yeah, for sure. Back on the goals front, you're approaching what was your final goal tally from last season. That must be a personal aim for you to beat that this campaign. Yeah, um, from from last year, obviously the the impetus for me was to not make it a one hit wonder kind of thing, like to continue doing it. And I feel like now I've got I've got seven eights in reach, and then from eight tens in reach, um, that is my ultimate goal. But obviously, more than anything, the aim is the goal of the team. It's not about me. So. Yeah, just continuing playing well and getting results is the, is the main objective for now. Yeah, brilliant. I know you guys take it a game at a time, but looking ahead a little bit, it's two tough away days for us next week with Eastley on Tuesday and Grimsby next Saturday. Are those are the types of hurdles that we need to sort of navigate very professionally to keep our playoff push on track. Yeah, I think the lads obviously have, um, have seen that the, the, the running is, is two games a week, pretty much apart from one. Um, and, and we're doing everything like the, the staff and, and ourselves. Um, approaching every game as it comes but also people are getting the due time to recover and things like that and away trips as well especially for the recovery day they do take a toll um, with the long with the long journeys and stuff but I think um, like we've shown in, in the past few weeks Southend, Yeovil um, and even, even Maidenhead on a, on a Tuesday night Tuesday night even still makes you fatigued for the Saturday but I think I think we're equipped and the squad's getting stronger and stronger so yeah.